I can eat a whole one by myself. So could I. I like the way you think. How about you, Emily? I couldn't eat that much. Okay. I think it's safe to assume there's gonna be a lot of people like Emily here who are modest about eating in public. So, we can feed four people with three subs. So, that is our ratio here. Three subs to four people. What's that colon thing there for? That's how you write a ratio. The two numbers you're comparing are separated by a colon. Some people would write it as three over four like a fraction. You know, she says she doesn't want to help, but you can't stop her from piping in. Women. How many people are you expecting? A uh, hundred, because I'm popular. Okay, you can write ratios as fractions. So three to four can also be written as three over four, which is equal to X, the amount of subs you need, over a hundred, the amount of people you're expecting. All right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel good about it. Yeah, me too. Okay. So you have three subs here. Mm hmm And the mystery number of subs here. Right. So what's that tell us? Well, if you multiply both sides by 100, that will tell you how many subs you need to get. 100 times 3 fourths is 75. Oh, all right. So for 100 people, we need 75 subs. You have got quite a head on your shoulders there, Emily. Boy, a thinker and a doer. That's not gonna be enough food. We need more. Like, how about some shrimp? Oh, that sounds good. I love shrimp. Like shrimp I can sounds. eat some shrimp. Okay. <laughs> we can have a catch and peel your own shrimp night and then have a big shrimp fry. Ooh, or better yet. Okay, <laughs> hold on. We could have people bobbing for shrimp in a big tub of cocktail sauce. <laughs> that sounds good. good yeah. Good. How many shrimp per person do we need? A uh, hundred. Isn't that a tad much? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot about you, little Miss Martha Stewart over there planning my party for me. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> Well, I can eat about 20 myself. Well, that's still a bit much, but it's a more realistic number. Okay, so if one person eats 20 shrimp, holy smoke, how many shrimp will a hundred people eat? Well, first we have to multiply both sides by 100, and 20 times 100 equals 2,000, mm. and X divided by 100 times 100 equals x, so therefore x equals 2,000, so we need 2,000 shrimp for 100 people. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of shrimp. I better go out and start digging. I better start running. And that's how ratios work. Yeah, uh, when you're comparing two ratios, it's called a proportion. Yeah, it's like when you offer to do something for somebody. Like mm -hmm. the other night, I was walking down no, no, Main no. Street. No, 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 that's a proposition. Oh. Yeah, a proportion is simply an equation that states two ratios are equal. Uh, like with our subs, three subs to four people is the same as 75 subs to 100 people. Three over four equals 75 over 100. They're proportionate. And you can use proportions to increase the size of something without distorting it. Like what? Ooh. Let's say, for example, you have an 8 by 10 picture frame. Uh -huh. You want to enlarge it to a 16 by 20. You can do that because 8 tenths equals 16 twentieths. Okay, this is your proportion. Both sides are the same. Now let's say you made the picture 16 by 16. Um, you didn't cut away the image, so that would squash your picture. 8 tenths does not equal 16 sixteenths. So the important thing to remember is to make your enlargement proportional. Oh, okay, that's cool. You know I never what? thought of it like that. That is so interesting, Emily. Wow. But I just got one little question. What does that have to do with the party? How many times do I have to tell you, my name is not Emily, it's Chris? You know, I don't have time to stand around and argue the point all day. 
I need 2,000 shrimp, I need foot-long subs, and my party is in an hour. Ha! Yeah! Ooh! Bam! They got you on that one. <laughs> Where is he gonna get that much food in just an hour? Do you honestly think he believes these people are gonna show up? I mean, look at this place. Why would he go through all this trouble? Well, because he's crazy? <laughs> you just don't like him because he keeps calling you Emily. No, that's not <laughs> the only reason. late for the party, come on. You've got the worst timing ever. I'm just about to kiss Tyra Banks. Well, good, you can stay here with Tyra Banks. No, never get back to the same dream and end up making out with Miss Piggy. Are we too late? Late for what? The party, did we miss it? Ha, some party, one person showed up. <laughs> just you? No, one person besides me. Really? Well, uh, is it someone from the class of 66? Well, that was who the party was for. Are they still here? Yeah. She's inside. Maybe they just didn't get the invitations. Oh, I didn't know anybody else was coming. Hi, my name's Emily. D did you say... Emily? Yeah, was that guy serious about bobbing for shrimp? In this program, we learned about ratios and proportions. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities. It can be written as an expression with a colon between the two values or as a fraction. A proportion is an equation that states that two ratios are equal. Finally, we discussed how to take the information from a word problem and use it to create a proportion. I'm an eggplant. No, you're an eggplant.